What's going on YouTube? This is Jose over Spidey Spider Tumblr's coming back at you with another unboxing video. So today's unboxing video, I got myself another medal. This one's gonna be Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. <laughs> and a mystery box. Either this is gonna be something I got on whatnot or an eBay purchase. And I'm gonna go ahead and do one short box purchase as well. But let's go ahead and show you guys the little metal. I know on my last video, I think it's about time for another knife. I lost the screw in this. But I know on my last video, I showed you guys the metals that I was getting on Pacer, the app that you can track your, um, your mileage and your activities and all that other stuff for a uh, uh, kind of like a, I don't want to call it a weight loss program, but more of a fitness challenge program type thing. You know, you can keep track of your uh miles your competition there is some activities there is some coaching there's a bunch of stuff on that pacer app but what i'm enjoying is using it for my mile tracker and i'm using a couple of the i, I think it's like a november group event where they they challenge you to do so many miles and as you do those miles they give you another milestone and so forth but you can also purchase a uh a, a virtual challenge to where you can do and this is the the box it comes in sorry i already opened up the package while i was talking but it's a virtual event where you can actually let me try to move this around a little bit so it's a virtual event to where you can actually go on there and see the map and what it does is it has uh geographical points where you can kind of click and i don't know if it's by miles or where you're at but you can hit it and it'll send you to google maps and it does a 360 view so you can actually stand there and watch what's in that area kind of give you a feel like you're there but not really there um, but it also with that option gives you an option to do that and it also, also gives you an option to do a medal so i was starting off smaller um smaller goals i'm slowly moving up but this is another one of the medals that came in so of course like the last one the boxes are going to look the same so that is not the map so of course it says find us on facebook and then of course the hashtag uh, Pacer Adventure Challenge. So I've been posting them as I put them on uh, the last one I posted it, I put it on eBay. So this one is a, uh, I thought this was going to be a 13 mile one also, but this one actually is a 20 mile. So the reason I chose this is because it was kind of like that Aztec kind of feel to it, but they always come with the lanyard. Nice lanyard there. This one has the trail that it was adventure challenge has that on it but there is the middle and of course it says 20 mile much beat you metal and it has the finisher and it actually has you it has the way the map location looks so start to finish so in every little point here you're going to have spots where you can actually click and it takes you to google map um but there we go just like the last one i'll go ahead and try to show it off as it's on but of course I'm too short so there you go that's what they would look like so like I said on the last one I'm really enjoying doing this um, it, it's a way to help keep track of your miles kind of your fitness uh, you, how much you've improved and so forth plus like I said there's also challenges on there for group events to where you can actually join a group and you can actually do just like social media. They allow you to follow. Uh, that's the only problem about getting up is that you try to have to reset down. But it lets you follow each other. You can create friends on there. You can just see different stuff that they do. Their, um, the way they improve, how they start off. kind of, and Plus they have the online coaching and all that. But if you guys are interested in that, it's Pacer. You can download it on your Google App Store or however you guys do it on Apple because I don't have Apple. Apple Play or I don't know what it's called, but let's go ahead and move on to the short box. So again, short box, I've been picking up a lot of stuff that helps me feel just the oddball stuff that I collect. I know a lot of people aren't into a lot of uh, certain collections that I get. And then sometimes when I find just some oddball stuff that are just maybe older um, at a, re a real good price, but I still try to kind of haggle. so. I kind of get prices even better than what they offer them for. Oh, oh. So, 
as I open this, I have peanuts. So give me a second. I am going to empty this out and I'll be right back. All right, so just like that, peanuts are gone. Let's go ahead and open this up. Some bubble wrap. All right, so let's see. There's a few more pieces of tape to remove. Slide this out. Let's see what we have from the mystery box. Again, I do have some purchases coming in from eBay, and I have, I believe, one slab coming from Whatnot, which I reached out to the guy because he had it on his back wall, and I kind of wanted to know what the price was. And this is actually not going to be it. So, um,. Oh, okay. So the reason it's not it is because this is actually one of the short box purchases that I did. I don't know why I thought I opened up the uh, mystery eBay or whatnot, but it is a uh, short box purchase. So it is not the mystery one that I thought it was going to be. So this one here, um, I'm not the greatest fan of DC, but when I see a book, obviously one, it's a older book. It was from 1965, uh, 68. It has a first appearance on it. It's not the best grade in the world. Um, but I was able to get a real, real good deal on it. So I'm not going to pass that up. So this is going to be Adventure Comics number 365. And it's the first appearance of Shadow Lass, Shadow Lass, Fatal 5 appearance, Origin, and Powers Text article of Legionnaires. So still a nice looking cover, even though it is a 4.5. Um, but there you go. was able to get that on Shortbox for a real, real good price. So, again, not the highest grade, but a book from the 60s with some first with a first appearance on it. So, real, real excited about that. So, now let's go ahead and move on to the mystery box. So, this one here either is going to be an eBay purchase or a whatnot purchase. It's a little heavy, so I'm thinking it'll be more than just a slab, so it might be the whatnot purchase. But I was as like I was trying to say in the on the last box that I opened up, is that I reached out to him because I seen the book on his back wall. So I figured I'd go ahead and see what he would offer. So when he told me the price on it, I still offered him a different price, and he went ahead and accepted the other price. So I do have more peanuts in this box, but it's not as bad, so I'm not going to stop the video. I'm just going to try to top, move the top peanuts off and see if I can slide the box or the stuff out of there. So it is going to be a couple of raw books, it looks like. So that's why I'm saying I, I'm a, now thinking it's going to be a whatnot. And I'll remove the slab here in a little bit, but let's go ahead and open up the Gemini. And I am going to be honest with you, and I don't remember exactly what it was, but if it is the same guy, it might be some Lady Death, Vampirilla type books. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. Okay, it is. I know there is going to be some Lady Death, because I see the signature with the COA. So the first book I got is a Zenscope. This is, I have no idea, but it is a uh, Denver 2020 exclusive collectible cover limited to 350. So we have like a Goldilocks and three bears type thing going on there. It's a nice little uh, Zenscope cover. Looking at the back. Real nice cover, but yeah, this was a whatnot purchase, so... And I will put his link down here or his uh, name down here. I, at the moment, don't remember who I got this from, but I did 
end up following him on Instagram. So I know who he is on Instagram. So I'll put his Instagram on here. And of course, it looks like these were all different lots because I have numbers there now. So we have another Zenscope. This is a Mike Chrome 2021 May Livestream collectible cover. And this is limited to 350. I believe he was calling this like the flash cover. That's going to be that. Next, we have a Grim Fairy Tales 2020 Holiday Pinup Special. I believe I have this already, but I went ahead and just grabbed it on his uh, sales because he had them there for reasonable prices. Um, we have a Chicago Comic, uh, comic and Entertainment Expo C2E2. And this is a cosplay collectible cover, limited to 350 again. Of course, the little G.I. Joe Baroness action going on there. Always like the cosplay covers. I think I'm going to use that for my screenshot, so let's go ahead and leave that there. So next, we're going to have some COAs. Of course, going to have Brian Pulido. And doo -doo 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 -doo. this is going to be Lady Death. Swimsuit number one, and this is the Naughty Edition, limited to 250. So you can't really see much of it, so I'm not going to worry about showing it. But there we are, Naughty Edition, sign, there's a COA. Next we have a Lady Death swimsuit number one, and this is the Nice Edition, limited to 250, also signed with a COA. There we go. Last but almost not least, so this is not actually a comic book. I know I got one of these comic uh, covers last time, but I really liked this one when I seen it. And so this is gonna be my first metal prints. So this is limited to 50. It's another Zen scope, and I'm not even exactly sure what the color is. Oh, but I'm not even gonna say <laughs> That I purchased this so thank you again again I will remember the name here in a little bit but this was a freebie and this is a hell of a freebie so it's an actual metal cover print or a metal print but it's a Zenscope cover there we go metal glossy as hell look at this so again thank you and I will be reaching out to you on Instagram, and I actually am going to use that probably now. As, no. So I'm going to reach out to you on Instagram, and thank you personally for this. Man, I really like this. <laughs> so let me go ahead and get to the slab. This is what I reached out to him for. I uh, threw a price out there, and he actually accepted it. Or... I don't remember if he accepted it right off the bat or he didn't a counter price. He might have done a counter price, but either which way, um, it was close to what it was that I offered or he actually uh, upped it a little bit. But regardless, I am very happy to have this in my collection now. Um, if anybody has watched any of my other videos, I do blame Roger Levesque for this. I said he's starting to give me an itch for these covers but not for all of them it's just for the style and books that i like or i like to collect for my own personal collection so here we go this is a nice cover now you guys seen if you guys seen my last videos i had got a lady death 9.9 .9 sign with this same style of cover um again roger levesque i blame you for giving me the itch. <laughs> no, shout out to Roger over at Three Minute Basement. Real nice guys over there. Um, I uh, got to meet up with them in Terrificon. Real nice guys. All of them, all of them uh, uh, are nice individuals. Him and Otto, just great people. But here we go. This was a buy it now for Spidey. And what we have is a White Widow number one absolute comics group 2018 signed by Jamie Tyndall. On 315.19, it's the red foil homage cover to Amazing Spider-Man 300. But just look at the way that cover looks. Always like her style. The, the widow, the spider she uses has a skull with the 
for the butt end of it, and then she has the head and the legs. That is a nice, nice cover. So, that is going to do it for my unboxing video. If you guys can all do me a favor, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. I'll give you guys a quick recap. Tell me what you think about the White Widow 300 homage cover. These metal plates. We got some Lady Death signed books. I know Lady Death, Vampirilla, White Widow is not everybody's cup of tea, but we got some Zen Scope. Again, another publisher that's not everybody's cup of tea. But always got some nice looking covers. And of course, my itty bitty little short box purchase of uh, Adventure Comics 365. But that is actually going to do it for this video. Um, I also want to announce that we did do the 250 subscriber giveaway. We did go all the way up to 275, so we gave some extra stuff. Big Lion Cat was gr uh, graceful, you know, gracious enough to host it. He actually got three tumblers gifted out. I did some comic books along with t-shirts. We are going to push for a 300 subscriber giveaway. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a uh, product, or, and we're going to do some comic books. We're going to keep going on to these milestones till I can get to 1,000. I'm not saying it's going to be an easy thing to do. Again, I don't have a lot of other stuff to offer people. It is going to be some of my tumblers, some unboxings. You know, oh, and then the other thing is, of course, I'll be giving you guys a uh, show of these medals as soon as I get them. I'm going to keep on with this challenge. Winter is going to come, so it may cool down a little bit. And I'll slow down on that, but I'm still going to try to do some stuff. But, you know, between my toy hauls and everything else, main focus here soon is I'm going to try to, to do the, the books all the time, uh, product uh, giveaways. I also want to start giving away some Funkos. I got a lot of Pops. I got some sodas that I started purchasing now. I'm not uh, into the sodas, but I will start purchasing that. I have some Funko pins that I want to start giving out. So just keep up with the channel. Um, there's always going to be giveaways. There's always going to be opportunities to win something, even if it's not going to be on a, a push, a subscriber push. I might just go up and say, hey, on this video here, comment, blah, 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 and we will do a giveaway, you know, give it a week, a two-week type deal. Once we hit so many people that comment on the video, we may just do the giveaway. But we're going to go focus on to giving back to you guys in the community and trying to give you guys, at least try to let you guys win something. Um, again, the other thing I want to do is I want to let everybody out there know um, I do get comments all the time where there's people saying they have never even had their first uh, slab. So I want to shoot it out there. Hopefully I don't get swarmed with a lot of people. I'm not saying it's going to be this grand big book, but reach out to me on Spidey's Powder Tumblers on Instagram and we can do something. And I, I want to hook you guys up with your first slab if you've never received the slab. I'm starting to hear a lot of people out there don't have slabs. Um, and it may not be your thing, but if you are interested in receiving your first ever slab, let me know. I can kind of figure out, uh, talk to you what characters you like, and then we'll go from there and try to get you your first slab. And that would be as an A-OK. -okay. So again, leave a comment down below. Reach out to me at Spidey's Powder Tumblers. I'll put it here. Obviously, it's in the beginning also, so you'll know where to find me. Um, but that's actually going to do it for this video. So if you guys can do me another favor, please hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't already subscribed. And please hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified with all the upcoming events that I'll be doing or any of the videos that I be, I'll be dropping here soon. But until then, like always, everybody, please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you guys on the next one.